All right, you guys. So before we get too far into the video, I just want to say I was playing with my hair a lot because I had been laying down, but I refused to re-record this video, okay? So I do apologize, and it's noted, but I was not re-recording this video. Well, as promised, I was going to get back to you. I did not vlog much at the hospital. Um, it's because most of the time was spent, you know, prepping and... Um, sitting there chilling for about an hour before and then um, four hours of waiting for me to film my legs again. I probably should have filmed that process because it was pretty interesting. I've never had, um, you know, anesthesia or been, you know, in a situation where I could not feel my legs, basically. I've, I've been put to sleep altogether, but I've never been numbed um, and not been able to feel um from the waist down um you know this is my third surgery but as i said the first one was i was awake and it was they numbed where they needed to be numb for that um oh make sure my information is not showing um but other than that yeah it was very interesting so i spent about what five and a half hours babe about five and a half hours um trying to feel my legs and be able to walk but baby by that fourth hour the four hour mark i could feel i was able to stand up um but i needed support and i gave myself i said you know in the next 30 45 minutes your girl gonna be walking and i was able to walk i was able to go use the bathroom um that is one of the qualifications to leave after that of course is to be able to walk um I did a lot of people that I spoke with and the Facebook um, group said that when they had their sarcologies, they also were required to be able to urinate. Um, they didn't put anything specific in my notes as far as that. So they were going to let me go. But I was able to actually pee before I left because I wanted to make sure of that myself since so many other people said that they had to. Has to be some kind of, you know, reason or explanation behind that. But um, it makes a lot of sense because the first time that I did try to go to the bathroom when they was trying to see if I could walk and asked me if I didn't go to the bathroom, it was like, okay, I couldn't walk there the first time. So they put me in a wheelchair. Um, but yeah, that first time there, going to the bathroom, I kind of, it was a no-go for me. I sat on the toilet. My butt was numb. I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't even feel the coldness of the toilet seat. So, of course, I couldn't feel to urinate. Um, about, what, 45 minutes later, 30, 45 minutes later, um, I went back and I was able to walk to the bathroom that time and I was able to pee. So, it was a slow process. It felt so weird not being able to, like, my legs just felt... Like, you have sensation. I don't know if you guys have ever been, um, to, like, had that done. But I definitely felt sensation. Like, I could feel people touching, but it was, like, more of, like, tingles. So, you can feel, even though you're numbed, I still felt when I was being touched. Um, even when they were doing the procedure. The procedure itself, though, went extremely fast. Um, once again, most of the time was spent once I got back there administering the, um, spinal and everything and even that was pretty fast um let me go ahead and pat myself on the back though they said your girl they said your girl baby took that like a champ they was like dang you ain't flinch you ain't move you ain't say nothing you was the guy uh one of the, one of the doctors was telling me when they were rolling me back out and talking to me he was just like you're so mellow the whole time like it was kind of scary almost how how mellow you was as I got the spinal, he said, maybe you should go to labor and delivery and show some of these other mamas how it's done. <laughs> but I said, well, I'm, part, I'm pretty sure. I gave them the benefit of the doubt, though. I'm pretty sure contractions change a lot of things. You're already kind of antsy and stuff. So, And if you don't like needles, of course, that's going to be a big deal. But as I say, but said before, I don't have an issue with that. And everything went very well. Um, the spinal side is a little sore, a little tender. And um, I'm experiencing some light spotting, not really any major cramping. It's kind of, kind of tender. Uh, I was more so gassy 
once I started regaining feeling and everything and was able to start moving around, it was more so um, like gassy, had a lot of air or something. But aside of that, everything went phenomenal. Um, I would say the worst part was having to wait for my legs to come back. Um, I had posted in the group saying, hey, you know, I was just waiting for my jelly leg, my jellyfish legs to to go away. And they were like, somebody um, commented and asked, it was like jellyfish? Question mark. And I was like, I said um, jellyfish because once I stood up to try to walk, <laughs> it felt like my legs were going to go everywhere. It was literally like jellyfish tentacles <laughs> my legs is about to just give out from under me and i think it was more so i could feel my legs i could feel from this part down of my legs don't want to show my goodies but um yeah so i can feel i don't know if i can show you guys but i could feel and if I, there's a mess here excuse me like i said i got a lot going on but i could feel from here down to my ankle of my legs initially and then like part of my thighs when the feeling started coming back so that was the first thing that i was feeling um after that it took a long time the longest part of it let me sit down the longest part of it was um my feet trying to get my feet Whew. i told the nurse at one point I, if you guys have ever seen kill bill i was literally sitting there trying to wiggle my toes even when I first um, first got the um, spinal and I felt everything kick in, I was trying to wiggle my toes. I mean, I just don't lie. I was <laughs> it was just like that um, scene on Kill Bill where she wakes up in the hospital out of the coma and she's like, wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Like, that's literally how it was. And um, they kept coming back and forth as far as the legs. The bottom part of my legs was fine, but when they got to the feet, I couldn't feel nothing for a long time. And they were just like, can you push down like you're hitting the gas? Can you pull back, you know, like push back? I couldn't do it. They said, can you wiggle your toes? Couldn't do it. But as you can see, I can do all that now. So we're doing good. Um, but I would definitely keep you guys updated. I'll probably do a part two um of you know how i feel later on they don't, don't have me on any like strong pain medication they just told me um it would be ibuprofen but as you see i have an allergy band on i'm allergic so i have to take tylenol but um yeah that's it and then my previous video that i have not edited yet i'm gonna edit it and get it out um there's a baby bump picture that I might post, but for those of you that have not seen the bump or want to see the bump, this is the bump. I'm 18 weeks, three days today. I wore this dress to make it easier just in case, you know, I had some struggling or movement around or if I was in pain, it's a lot easier to just slip something over your head than trying to put on bottoms, put on a top and everything. So I literally just have on a dress and underwear. Um, and of course, you know, reinforcements in the underwear for the spotting, but... Today was pretty much a success. I'm hopeful, I'm faithful, and I know 22 weeks from now, hopefully not a moment sooner, unless it's 20 weeks from now, um, I'll be bringing home a beautiful baby boy. So you guys stay tuned. And again, my name is Deshae. Um, Thank you for watching this journey with me. And if you have any questions, concerns, like exactly, like more detail, I could let you guys know, but I think I was pretty detailed in my last video, I mean, earlier in this video, actually, sorry, of what exactly was going to be going on. So, um, it's not really much else to it. It's a very, very simple procedure. When the doctor says that he's going to be in there five, ten minutes tops, definitely five, ten minutes tops. Um, like I said, most of it's prep and the waiting period to regain the feeling in your legs um and the butt the butt was the last thing so that's another reason why it was hard to walk because your gluteus i feel like your gluteus maximus i learned that today your glute, gluteus maximus your your ass your tushy your booty that donk whatever you want to call it that carries you baby 
So when people be like, oh, this butt got me, my back and my feet, my legs hurting, I believe them now because I cannot walk because I cannot feel this part all like from here to here was the last thing that I regained feeling in. And that's like the foundation. The My little my little twig of, of legs was just giving out a bunch of me. So um, once again, my name is Deshae. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you get notified for my future videos. And it was a pleasure. I'm out. Peace.